start. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Demetrius Dalton. I'm a Nevada Arts Council board member and panel chair for today's grant panel review. And I call this meeting to order, order at 10 a.m. Thursday, August 31st, 2023. Welcome, everyone, to the Nevada Arts Council Fiscal Year 2024 Art Fellowship Grant in Performing Arts Music Category panel review. This public meeting will be recorded. Please remember to identify yourself each time you speak and to speak loudly and clearly so that your comments will be clearly recorded and so that the audience members can hear you. At this time, I will, um, the Nevada Arts Council will confirm please that the meeting was properly posted. This is Sapira Chirk. Uh, the meeting has been properly posted. Okay, let's do our land acknowledgement. We begin our Nevada Arts Council meeting by acknowledging the Numa, Nue, Nuuvi, Wasishu, and Pipa Ahamakav have lived in the Great Basin since time began. Please join me in expressing our deepest respect and gratitude to our major in indigenous groups, the Northern Paiute, the Shoshone, the Southern Paiute, the Washoe, and the Mojave. Not just the original caretakers of the land we now call Nevada, but for their endearing stewardship and protection of our shared lands and waterways. Today, Nevada Arts Council reaffirms its commitment to improve the quality of life for our 28 tribal nations, bands, colonies, and the 62,000 plus urban Indians who choose to make Nevada their current home. Okay, thank you to those joining us today on this virtual meeting. Your attendance shows your commitment to Nevada's art industry and on behalf of the staff and board of the Nevada Arts Council, I commend and thank you for all that you do. At this time, we will proceed to the agenda item A2, roll call and introductions. I will now introduce our panelists. First panelist is Raja Roman a prize-winning graduate with a bachelor's and a master's of the Juilliard School, Canadian pianist Raja Roman has performed worldwide with the likes of Sir Georg Solti, Valerie Gergov, and Iona Brown, winner of several concerto competitions, Juilliard Vladimir Horowitz Scholarship, Artist International Competition, Canadian Music Competitions, and numerous other awards, Raja's career has taken him over the world in a concert as both soloist and chamber musician. Collaborations have included performances with Shellis Matt Hamovitz and members of the Juilliard String Quartet and the San Francisco Symphony. Mr. Roman's Carnegie Hall debut took place while still at Juilliard, followed by his Lincoln Center debut shortly thereafter. Sir Georg Solti became an ardent supporter of Raja after his first performance together in Germany. Raja's major teachers have included Seymour Lipkin, Jerome Lowenthal, and Liv Vlancitko and Byron Janice. Welcome, Raja. Next, we have Marlise Simmons. Marlise is a pianist, composer, arranger, and educator based in Richmond, Virginia. She is band leader for the Salsa Orchestra, Bio Ritmo, and Bolero Ensemble Miramar. With her projects, she has toured across North America, Europe, Russia, and been featured twice on NPR's Tiny Desk. 
recorded for Daptone Records and been a recipient of numerous grants, including the Mid-Atlantic Arts Foundation U.S. Artists International. Marlise has a master's degree in composition from Brooklyn College, where she studied with acclaimed band leader Arturo O'Farrell. She has arranged for the Richmond Symphony Orchestra and currently works as an adjunct professor for the jazz department at Virginia's Commonwealth University. Welcome, Marlies. And then we have Jay Stabley, who is a composer and multi-instrumentalist whose musical experience ranges from the canon of Western classical music to the folk music of Eastern Europe, traditional and acid jazz, and 70s punk rock. A sixth generation California, he enjoyed a good public school education followed by music studies in Hungary and France. He is one of only a handful of performers in the world on the Hungarian instrument, the symbolum, I believe that's how it's pronounced, and has appeared with dozens of orchestras, including San Francisco Symphony, San Jose Symphony, Sacramento Symphony, and the Reno Philharmonic. As a professional French horn player, he has performed with the San Jose Symphony, California Symphony, and many others. As a cellist, he was a member of the Jefferson Quartet, the Jameson Piano Trio, and the Prometheus Orchestra, among others. Currently, Jay is working for the San Francisco Opera in marketing and has provided program notes of several for several orchestras around the world. Welcome, Jay. Now I will provide an opportunity for the Arts Council staff and the Deputy Attorney General to introduce themselves. Hello, this is Sapira Chirk. I am the Artist Service Specialist and I am based out of the Las Vegas office. Hello, I'm Stephen Reed. I am uh, also the, an Artist Service Specialist and I am out of the Carson City office. Good morning, I'm Krista Ficken from the Grants Program from the Carson City Office, joining you remotely today. Good morning, my name is Harry Ward, Deputy Attorney General. And as I said before, and this is for the public, I'm here to monitor the meeting in regards to the compliance with the open meeting law. Uh, we are required to do this discussion and uh, everything in an open meeting law setting. Um, there will be quote unquote deliberations by the panelists on the applicants and we must comply with it. And that's why we have recommended or not recommend, but suggested that you uh, identify yourself every time you speak. So it will make it easier in case this matter has to be transcribed. Thank you. Okay, this is Demetrius. Uh, we will now move to agenda item B, public comment. A period of public comment will be allowed at the beginning and at the end of the meeting. Members of the public who wish to participate during a public meeting may do so by providing public comment during the two designated public comment periods. Members of the public attending may not speak except during the public comment section. Public comments may also be submitted via email to grants at nevadaculture.org. That is grants at nevadaculture.org. Because of the time considerations, the period for public comment by each speaker may be limited to three minutes at the discretion of the chair. The speakers are urged to avoid repetition of comments made by previous speakers. Applicants who are attending today do not have an unfair advantage over those who are not in attendance, and the committee will not take public comment regarding any grant applications under consideration. Is there anyone joining today's meeting who wishes to provide public comment? was any public comments re received via email as well. This is Krista. I don't see any public comments coming up in chat and we did not receive any via email. Okay, this is Demetrius. We will now move to agenda item C for possible action. 
Review of the FY24 Artist Fellowship Grant in Performing Arts Music Category Applications. The Nevada Arts Council will award a total of five artist fellowships of $5,000 to the top scores of this year's two divisions, Literary Arts and Performing Arts. Today's application for music fall into the performing arts categories. During the meeting today, the panel will discuss and score 18 applications. The goal of this panel is to score the applications to make recommendations to the Nevada Arts Council Board. Applications are scored according to the following review criteria. Clear demonstration of the artist's intention and process, 10 points. Consistency in the exceptional caliber of the work, 10 points. Evidence of artistic impact, such as influence within a specific community or genre of art, 10 points. The Art Fellowship Grant recognizes individual artists living in Nevada who demonstrate excellence in their work. By acknowledging outstanding artistic accomplishments, the program promotes public awareness and appreciation of the role of the artist in our society. In odd fiscal years, the grant is open to visual artists and in even fiscal years, it is open to performing in literary artists. All applications received were reviewed by staff for eligibility only, then move to the panel review process. Prior to reviewing the applications, the panelists completed the Nevada Arts Coun uh, Council panelist orientation and training. Then each panelist reviewed the applications and supplemental materials online and submitted preliminary scores and comments for all applications. Okay, we have assembled an outstanding panel of experts in the field of performing arts today. We encourage the panelists to share their knowledge about aesthetics, stylistic, and cultural trends that may affect other panel members' understanding of the application being discussed. We also urge panelists to speak out strongly in support of applications that you believe should be considered by your fellow panel members panel members. As a reminder, panel members are not permitted to enhance any application by offering their personal knowledge of an applicant. No information beyond the application itself may be discussed. Staff may only provide clarification and or assist panelists in locating information. In accordance with Nevada Open Meeting Law, panelists may not discuss any applications outside of this public meeting. So please make sure that no discussion regarding applications occur during breaks, lunch, or after a meeting adjourns for the day. All panelists previously, previously received information regarding conflicts of interest. If a panelist stands to profit in some way from the awarding of a grant to any of the applicants, the panelists must refrain from participating in the discussions and scoring of the application. Conflict of interest forms were given to panelists previously and have already been signed and turned into Nevada Arts Council staff. Panelists, when I call on you, please state your name and for the record and announce it if you have any conflicts of interest. Panelist Raja. Raja Raman here. I have no conflicts of interest. Thank you. Marlies. Panelist Marlies Simmons here. I have no conflict either. Thank you. Jay. Panelist Jay Stebley. I have no um, conflicts. Awesome. This is Demetrius. Our panel review has up to three rounds. In round one, I will state the application number and ask each panelist to state their name, round one score, and initial comments for the application. If there is a large discrepancy in scores between the panelists on a certain application, the staff may ask panelists to clarify their scores 
between panelists on a certain application. Okay, the staff has asked panelists to clarify their scores through discussion. Panelists will have the opportunity to adjust their scores at this time. If a panelist changes a score, they must state the justification of that change. The Nevada Arts Council staff will record the average panel scores for each applicant and determine which application moves on to the next round based upon average scores. So here we go. Do I just go ahead and start with the first number? This is Sapira, yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. We are going with AFG24-0005. Aja, please provide um, your preliminary score and your comments. My preliminary score for 0005 is 17. I thought there was a very nice variety of work that was presented, and I commend the applicant for that. Um, I thought the instrumentation also was very strong as well. So those are my initial comments. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Please provide your preliminary scores and your comments, Marlies. Yeah, hi, Marlies, you're on mute. This is Stefan. Uh, so uh, the, the total score is, I didn't add them up, I have them separate, uh, 26. And um, my, my comments are, I really, uh, Thought it was excellent production arrangements and 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 songwriting, um, and I was it's just not as clear on the artist intent as as much as I had hoped, and, to, and that was the, my main comment. This is Krista um, Marlies. Could you double check your score real quick? We had your total oh. score twenty seven. Okay, oh twenty seven. I just added it wrong. Sorry. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> And remember to state your name before um, when you when you're ready to talk. Thank you. Yes. This is Demetrius. Jay, could you please uh, provide us your preliminary score and your comments? This is Jay Stebley, panelist. I'm having a little te technical difficulty. Can you tell me we're on uh, the first? Uh, applicant number uh, 0005? Yes. Okay. Yes, 0005. Yes. Uh, this is Jay. My preliminary score was uh, 19. Uh, I had no doubt about the uh, quality of the performance. I was a little confused by the intent and the connections to the community that he was uh, offering in his comments. Awesome. This is Demetrius. Um, are there any further comments or further discussions from any of the panelists? If not, um, we can uh, request final scores. This is Chris, so we're going to look at the round one scoring for application AFG 24-0005. And at this point, um, as we go through this, we'll just ask you to confirm what your scores are so that we can get to an average score and we'll run through that on each of these. Um, if you have heard something from another panelist, you may adjust your scores at this point and you would just give us a reasoning why. Um, and then in round two, the ones that move into that second round, we'll get into more robust conversation, we hope, amongst the panelists. Um, but this part is uh, fairly simple. So um, if we could start with Marlies, if you could um, conform, confirm or alter your score if you choose. I confirm. And um, so just say, this is Marlies, and then <laughs> and what the score is. <laughs> it's okay, Sorry. we're gonna- Sorry, I'll, 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 I'll get the flow. <laughs> this is Marlies, and I, I do confirm my score. At 27. Four, 
That's for the record, saying. for the record, Harry Ward, Deputy Attorney General, and just so our panelists know this, sometimes there's a public request just for the audio of it. So that's why we're requesting for you to. They they don't see the chart that you're seeing. So gotcha. that's why we are requesting you to state your name. Yes, I confirm, and then give your your number in case this is just requested or reproduced in audio. And that and that's the reasoning. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. This is Krista. Um, and Raja, if we can have yours as well. This is Raja. I confirm my preliminary score of 17. Thank you. And Jay, please. This is Jay. I confirm my preliminary score of 19. Thank you so much. Um, panel scores for round one on AFG 24-0005 are Marlies 27, Raja 17, and Jay 19 for an average score of 21. Okay, this is Demetrius. Are we ready to go to our next application? This is Krista, yes, just jump into the next one. Okay, we are on to application 0006. Uh, panelist Marlies, could you please give us your score and your comments, please? Yes, uh, score 22. Um, comments, I, I would have really liked more work samples um, to better understand the full scope of the artist. Um, and also, um, that would have helped me understand, you know, as a whole, the artist's intent. Okay. Jay, your uh, score and comments? This is Jay Stebley. Uh, my score uh, is 30. I was uh, really impressed with one, the quality and the competency and the virtuosity of the artist, but I also thought the production values were extremely high and um, my score reflects that. Okay, this is Demetrius Raja. Uh, your comment and score, please. This is Raja. Uh, my score is 17. I thought there was uh, very good work with the uh, singing and the dancing, um, and I think bringing the music to the people was was indeed very effective. Okay, this is Demetrius. Um, any further comments or discussions uh, from the panelists at this point, now that we've heard your preliminary scores? This is Jay Stebley. Um, I was curious uh, we had two live performances and uh, one produced performance, uh, uh, a video. And the video was of, of a highly professional quality. And I thought uh, the actual um, performance on it was truly um, remarkable. Um, from the live clips, it was clear that the musician has very, very good chops and that he conveys a great deal of joy and, and expresses himself through his intended purpose, which was um, reaching a wider audience in public. Uh, but mostly what impressed me most was the, um, the, uh, the video that he produced. It was extremely clever. It was extremely well done. Um, and his stated purpose of reaching a wider audience, especially young people, was very impressive to me. This is Demetrius for the record. Um, are we are now ready for our final scores? This is Christy. Yep, it sounds like no more conversation. So let me get my share back up if it wants to. Oh, there it goes. It was not giving it to me. Um, so we are looking now at uh, the round one scores for application AFG 24-0006. And I will start with Jay on this one. You might Jay, what is, what is your preliminary, Sorry. what is your final score, Jay? This is Jay Stebley. My final score is 30. Thank you. Uh, Marlies, please. You might be muted, Marlies. 
This is Marley Simmons. My final score is 22. Thank you. And Raja, please. This is Raja Raman. My final score is 17. Thank you. Um, the final round one scores for application AFG 24-006 are Marlene's 22, Raja 17, and J30 for an average score of 23 even. This is Demetrius. We're now moving on to AFG 24-0010. Uh, Jay, could you please give us your preliminary score and your comments, please? My preliminary score is 24. This is Jay Stebley. I was impressed having an opera background with the quality of the voice. Um, the repertoire was very good. Um, I believe there was uh, room for more um, emphasis in the uh, repertoire that she does and how it can uh, reach a wider community. Uh, opera, of course, is highly specialized in how do you bring uh, opera from a single singer into a wider uh, acceptance. I would suggest that she um, expand her repertoire uh, for that purpose. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja, how about your preliminary scores and comments? This is Ra panelist Raja Raman. Uh, my preliminary score was 21 for this applicant. Um, I noted uh, it was very good work, great work actually. Clearly uh, showed excellent training. Um, I thought it was a real pleasure to review this submission. Thank you, Ra this is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies, what is your preliminary score and comment? Uh, this is my least, my preliminary score is 22. Um, Concur with the other panel, it's a very high quality work. Um, I, I, I think that the suggestion of a more expanded repertoire is, is also something that I was thinking that I wanted to feel from her. This is Demetrius. Um, do any of the panels have further comments or? for the discussion after hearing the comments of the other panelists. Okay, we will request a final score. This is Krista. We're looking at the final round one scores for AFG 24-00110. Uh, if we could start um, this time with Marlies. This is Marlies. My final score is 22. Thank you. Jay, please. Jay, my final score is 26. Um, we had you for 24. Are you adjusting your score? Uh, you're muted, Jay. Let me look again, because I'm flipping between screens here. Um, yes. No? I'm sorry. 00, zero, zero one, seven. Uh, one zero. Okay, 24. Thank you. And Raja, please. This is Raja. My final score is 21. Thank you. Final round one scores for application G24-0010 are Marlies 22, Raja 21, and J24 for an average score of 22.3. This is Demetrius. We're now going to move on to AFG 24-0017. Raja, do you have a preliminary scoring comment for us? I do, Raja, panelist here. Uh, preliminary score is 23. I thought it was a great production, a very beautiful voice. Um, likewise, I really enjoyed the submission. Thank you, Raja. Marlies, do you have a score and comment for us? Yeah, this is Marlies. The preliminary score is 20. Um, I thought that the work samples were of great quality. Um, I, I, I would have maybe liked to 
seeing something a little bit more unique and push towards innovative with, with the style. But overall, enjoyed it very much. Thank you, Marlies. Jay, do you have a score and a comment? My this is Jay Stebley. My preliminary score is 24. I concur with the other panelists. Uh, a beautiful voice, excellent delivery, very fine production. I also agree that uh, a wider range of, um, of uh, genre would have been nice. Um, the three samples matched one another in, in delivery, and so there's no doubt to the professionalism and the quality of this person's um, singing. Um, but repertory would have, I would like to have heard a little bit more. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Um, having heard the other panel's comments, does anyone have further comments? This discussion. Is, I've got a, um, Mrs. Christa, I just need to interrupt real fast. Jay, we had you at 27 on that one for 0017. If you could double check. You're muted. Thank you. This is Jay. I'm sorry. My notes may have may have transposed. From... Yeah, because I I do show my preliminary score of 24. Okay. Um, are you? Hey, um, this is Stephen Reed for the record. So maybe when we're asking um folks for their scores to make sure they're identifying the application that they're talking about as well, um, before they're um just so we make sure that. The application and the the comments are aligning, and the score. Jay, do you happen to? This is Krista. Jay, do you happen to be in submittable as well? Or are you looking just at um, notes? I'm looking at my notes. I don't have submissible up. Um, if I could recommend, maybe just pop into submittable real quick, just to double check because of the discrepancy. That would be great. Would you like me to do that right now? Yes, please. This may take a couple minutes because um, my my computer is limited to what it can do right now. So this is Chris. Um, that's fine. We'll take a moment. We, we want to make sure everything is good on the record. Absolutely. Hold on one moment. I'm going to go Thank off you. screen. This is Jay Stebley. I've reviewed my submittable um, application and I show a preliminary score of 27. Perfect. Thank you so much for confirming. You're welcome. This is Demetra. So do the panelists have an additional comments or discussions for 0017? Seeing sure. and Jay, if you can come back on screen, I know you said that you're um, you were a little bit limited. Oh, it looks like you did. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is Krista. We are looking at the round one scores for AFG twenty four dash zero zero one seven. Um, Jay, if we could confirm yours. This is Jay Stebley uh, confirming my score of twenty seven. 
Thank you so much. Uh, Marlies, please. This is Marlies Simmons. I'm confirming my score of 20. Thank you. And Raja, please. Panelist Raja Rahman confirming my score of 23. Thank you so much. Final round one scores for AFG 24-0017 are Marlies 20, Raja 23, J 27 for an average panel score of 23.3. This is Demetrius. We are now going to move on to AFG 24-0027. Marlies, could you give us your preliminary scores and comments, please? I'm sorry, one second. I had the wrong one for what for a second. Uh, 0027, correct? Yes. Yes. Um, my preliminary score is, is, a, is a 28. Um, I thought it was high quality of work in, in, in samples and arrangements, and I was appreciative of the very artistic intent and, and explained very well. Um, I was just missing a little bit about the community outreach and then there's cultural programming options. Thank you, Marlies. Jay, do you have a preliminary score and comments? <clears throat> this is the PRJ, you're muted. This is Jay Stebley. Uh, my preliminary score is 26. Uh, a very competent uh, conductor, excellent technique. Uh, programming was interesting. Uh, he's an outstanding accompanist to soloists. He put together uh, a good program with the orchestra and chorus. I, I was intrigued by that. But these were all basically pops programs. And I'd like to have known what he could do with some of the larger um, repertory of classical programming. Um, when you're conducting pops concerts and stuff like that, I, I see conductors consistently resort to routine kind of timekeeping. And there's not a lot of room for self-expression as there is in a Beethoven or Brahms symphony or Stravinsky ballet. Uh, given that, I, I would have liked to have seen more. Um, but the score, I still, uh, scored fairly highly because uh, he clearly knows his craft, and I appreciate that very much. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Uh, Raja, could we have your preliminary scores and comments? Panelist Raja Rahman, my preliminary score is 27. Jay, I'm in 100% agreement with you. Um, I thought there was a good, clear direction and communication with the ensemble, rhythmically strong. Um, again, perhaps better expression of color and dynamics, which is perhaps better illustrated in a uh, more standard classical repertoire. Um, definitely a very capable conductor. I think communication between the ensemble and the conductor could have been stronger, even though it was a youth orchestra. Um, however, um, excellent submission. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Now, having heard all of the panelists' comments and score, um, is there further comments or discussion? This is Jay Stebley. I'd like to add to Raja's comment about the youth orchestra. Um, the quality of the youth orchestras in the United States and around the world is generally really high these days, but still, uh, it takes a, a, a good musician and conductor to bring them together and into the level of interpretation that we were catching in the um, the this Harry Potter excerpt was amazing just because of the quality of the performance. Now that takes a really fine leader to do that. And uh, I, 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 I scored him high because of that ability. Uh, but again, back to Raja's concern uh, with a professional orchestra and with a standard repertory or even new repertory, uh, we might have seen uh, even greater um, ability 
This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Marlies, Raja, any final, any more discussions or comments? If not, we will go for the uh, request of final scores with Krista. Yes, this is Krista. We are looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0027. Uh, Raja, if I can start with you this time, please. This is panelist Raja. My final score is 27. Thank you. And Marlies, please. This is uh, panelist Marlies, and my final score is 28. Thank you. And Jay, please. This is panelist Jay Stebley. My final score is 26. Thank you. Uh, final round one scores for AFG 24-0027 are Marlies 28, Raja 27, and Jay 26 for an average score of 27.0. This is Demetrius. We're going to now move on to our next one, which is AFG 24-0032. Jay, could we please hear your preliminary score and comments? This is Jay Stebley. My preliminary score is 30. We're dealing with a musician who uh, is of a very high, very high caliber. Uh, whose compositions are also in the same stratosphere. Uh, I felt he was found an original voice, which is the hardest thing to do in composition and in performing these days. Um, overall, I, I felt he was a world-class artist. I'd like to see him get greater recognition. Thank you, Jay. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? This is panelist Raja Rahman in regards to Applicant 0032, my preliminary score is 27. Um, also agree again with Jay. Um, I thought the uh, the first piece, I thought, beautiful piece, successfully depicting your imagery. Um, very good job, great job. Um, second piece, uh, likewise, Bordello Knights, excellent job, nice instrumentation, great melodic content. Um, Twilight. I thought it was excellent soundscape and the juxtaposition of rhythms and textures were really beautiful. Um, and the Onera fun musical backdrop to the animation. So strong submission, very, very gifted artist. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Uh, this is Marlies. Uh, my preliminary score is a 26. Uh, also, Thought it was a great performance, also great compositions, a high quality, accomplished com composer. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Um, we are to the point where if you want to have another comment or further discussion from any of the panelists. This is Jay Stebley. I'd also like to point out that there's very few musicians that can cross um, genre lines uh, successfully, whether we're talking about an opera singer that's singing pop music or uh, a classical fiddle that's, that's doing um, country. Um, in this case, his jazz compositions were really quite remarkable and really accomplished. Um, as Roger and um, Marlis um, have pointed out, uh, the instrumentation was, was really wonderful the um colors that he achieves are wonderful uh and and the voicing of the instruments in the jazz compositions was really remarkable. i thought i thought it was just overall really strong work this is demetrius thank you jay anyone else it sounds like uh we're ready for our final score krista Yes, this is Krista. We are looking at their uh, final round one scores for application AFG 24-0032. Um, Jay, if I could start with you on this one, please. Yeah, this is Jay Stebley. My preliminary score is 30. Thank you. And Marlies, please. This is Marlies. My preliminary score is 26. Thank you. And Raja, please. Panelist Raja, my preliminary score is 27. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0032 are 
Marlies 26, Raja 27, and J30 for an average score of 27.7. This is Demetrius for the record. We are at the point where we can choose to take a break. We are ahead of schedule. Um, according to my computer, it's 1045. Um, so we're doing really well. Does everyone want to, do you want to take a break now or shall we just push through maybe for another two or three discussions? I'm happy to push through, Roger Ron. Jay Stebley, I'm happy to push through. Uh, this is Marlies, I'm happy to continue as well. Well, let's continue. All right, we are on AFG24-0051. Raja, what's your preliminary score and comment, please? Regarding 0051, Roger Rahman, panelist, uh, regarding Preliminary uh, panelists, zero, sorry, regarding applicant 0051. My preliminary score is 13. And my notes are uh, good performance um, regarding the book. Um, let's get loud. Try to give you music some contrast here and there, either dynamically, texturally, instrumentation wise. And I just had a um, general comment of variety is always uh, a good thing. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Uh, this is Marlies. Uh, my score of 17. Um, performance is, is good. I would wanted more variety and also I wasn't sure of this kind of blurry artistic intent and direction. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay? This is Jay Stebley uh, concerning panelist 0051. I gave a higher score uh, in the first category at 10, and my preliminary score is 23. I get what he's trying to do, and I, I I thought he did it well. He's not he's not trying to make a huge statement, but with the with the cleverness of his lyrics, even the small statements come across with some pretty good power. So I liked his lyrical uh, his lyrics. Um, they're to the point and sharp edge. I like his raw delivery. I am a guitar player. I thought his guitar styling was kind of original. You know, there's a cross between kind of like a weird bluesy ragtime that I appreciated, a kind of a one-man band effect. And that's why I scored another 23. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Um, comments and discussion. Raja, Marlies, do you have a, a comment or discussion regarding what Jay has shared? Raja, I'm a panelist. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, it sounds like we're good. So final score to Krista. This is Krista. We're looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0051. Raja, if I can start with you on this one, please. Panelist Raja Rahman, final preliminary score of 13. Thank you. Uh, Marlies, please. This is panelist Marlies, uh, final score of 17. Thank you, and Jay, please. This is panelist Jay Stebley. I give a preliminary score of 23. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0051 are Marlies 17, Raja 13, and Jay 23 for an average score of 17.7. This is Demetrius. We're now going to move on to AFG 24-0054. Uh, Marlies, do you have a score and comments for us? Sure. Uh, my preliminary score is 25. Um, I was very impressed with the sounds and uniqueness of this of the submission. Um, I, I would have liked more than one some sample, though. So, even though it was a long sample and it showed a lot, I, I would have liked to have seen 
it, perhaps in a different environment or just in, in you know another another sample would have been nice. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay. This is panelist Jay Stebley regarding uh, application 0054. Uh, this was a really impressive effort for me. Um, it's kind of a virtual orchestra and a virtual composer. And given the fact that uh, we're facing a world where uh, artificial intelligence is going to be taking over a great deal of what we do, even in the arts, I thought this interface between uh, the composer and his instrument, which was this virtual orchestra, was really remarkable. Um, I agree with Marlies that uh, a different environment would have helped and uh, maybe more samples along different lines would have been uh, a way of helping judge what his ultimate purpose is. He, um, I, 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 in my notes, I, I found myself wondering where this would be applicable for the larger public. I'd like to, is this going to be in a museum? Is it going to be in a single a small room? I'd like to see this integrated with a, a large uh, scale performance you know, where hundreds, if not thousands of people can hear what was going on. It's a very fascinating project and I'd like to support it. So that's why my preliminary score is 27. This is Demetrius, thank you, Jay. Raja? This is panelist Raja Raman uh, regarding applicant number 54. Uh, my preliminary score is 18. Um, my comments were nice soundscape and uh, lovely textures. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Does anyone have any further comments or would like to do some more discussing on this particular application? All I'm, right, I'm Krista. Just, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, this is Jay Stebley, panelist. Um, I, I'd like to comment further on um, why I'd like to see this uh, get out to a wider audience and that's just simply because of the of the uniqueness of the sound and plus it is a physical experience if you're there you actually get to see the trappings and how the uh, operation works so um, that's why i supported the project i thought the end result in the sound was really remarkable we're not dealing with a lot of acoustic instruments but nevertheless both both uh, styles were there and i really appreciate that i think it would be a very popular thing um, with a wider audience. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Um, I believe we're now fine, uh, ready for our final score. Krista? Yeah, I'm bringing it up. This is Krista. We are looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0054. Marlies, if we can start with you on this one, please. Uh, this is Marley Simmons. My preliminary score is at 25. Thank you. And Jay, please. Panelist Jay Stebley, my preliminary score is 27. Thank you. And Raja. Panelist Raja Rahman, my preliminary score is 18. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0054 are Marlies 25, Raja 18, and Jay 27 for an average panel score of 23.3. This is Demetrius. We are ready to move on to AFG 24-0058. And uh, Jay, do you have a score and comments for us? Panelist Jay Stebley regarding application 0058. My uh, preliminary score is 24. I almost would like to hear uh, what Raja has to say about this pianist. Uh, being a pianist himself, I love piano repertory and I'm extremely intimate with it, um, particularly the bar talk, uh, a piece I know well. Uh, his musicianship is exceedingly high. Uh, I gave him a 10 in that respect. Um, the music that he picked ten tended to uh, explore the more explosive sounds of the piano, which I thought was fascinating, the bar talk. And, uh, a couple of the pieces that I'd never heard before. I was really glad he introduced those to me, but um, there wasn't, to my ear, uh, 
a wide range of, of voicing and uh, dynamics. It's, it's tended to be on the meso forte, the double forte level. And I found that interesting, but clearly he has the chops, the fingers. Um, those pieces are not easy by any means. And so I gave him a preliminary score of 24. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? Panelist uh, Roger Rahman, thank you, Jay, for the intro. <laughs> In regards to uh, applicant number 58, uh, my preliminary score is 21. Uh, my notes that I uh, have written down are the Bartok, uh, clearly a, a nice facility, um, perhaps could use better voicing in some sections. Um, and to try to go for a better distinction between the meter changes, there are extensive meter changes in the piece. And it'd be nice to hear more of that. Uh, Debussy, beautiful colors, very nice. Um, perhaps a stronger sense of the rhythmic swing in the moving sections uh, for the Evans. Uh, again, could use stronger voicing and more dynamic contrast. Um, Kalina, good power. Uh, try to prioritize the melodic content over the secondary content. This will help with texture, color, and of course, melodic interest, but good recordings. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Uh, this is Marlies. I gave a preliminary score of 21. Um, it was obviously a great performance, high quality work samples. Um, there was, in my notes, I know there was mention of commentary that would have, I would have liked to have possibly seen that commentary that he's in interaction that the pianist is making with the audience as to make so as to make this a little bit more what is what you know how it's connecting to the audience and making it unique other than just another classical piano performance which you know I just that was the unique thing but I would have loved to have seen that a sample or a snippet or hear of that this is Demetrius thanks Marlies um, does anyone want to have other comments or discussions? Okay, sounds like we're ready for final score, Krista. Thank you. This is Krista. We are looking at the final round one scores for application P uh, AFG 24-0058. Raja, if I can start with you on this one, please. Panelist Raja Raman regarding 0058. My preliminary score is 21. Thank you. And Jay, please. Now, Jay Stebley for applicant 0058. My preliminary score is 24. Thank you. And Marlies? This is panelist Marlies, and my preliminary score is 21. Thank you. Uh, final round one scores for application AFG 24-0058 are Marlies 21, Raja 21, and Jay 24 for an average score of 22.0. All right, this is Demetrius. We're going to move on. We're just rolling right along here uh, to AFG 24-0059. Uh, Raja, comments and preliminary score? Uh, Raja Raman, a panelist regarding applicant 0059. My preliminary score was 16. Notes are... Uh, Angel 72, nice reflective mix, uh, grateful uh, for my story. I thought it was a very, a very, a very nice sound, um, a nice voice, a lovely texture and a beautiful soundscape. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? This is Marlies. Uh, gave a preliminary score of 18. Um, I think I was... I enjoyed the music. I, I it was, the process and intent was explained well. Um, I would have liked to have seen, as as was explained, the building of the song from from the beginning. I felt like we were just shoved, you know, thrown into the song already sort of there. And I would have liked to see the the building and how it was. Um, I was also just um, looking for more explanation of of where these performances and, and for whom and what was the ultimate goal of things like that. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay? 
This is Jay. My preliminary score for 0059 was 21. I might be might be being a generous, but I I actually appreciated the amount of emotion you can get out of the kind of music that she was doing as a boss, a boss loop artist. Um, I I hear too much that just passes for um, trying to make a statement, and it, it, it ends up just being with uh, wheel spinning but i thought i thought she touched upon some really really effective uh, thoughts and her emotions were expressed through a very uh, limited um art form i using a boss loop to get to convey these sorts of things uh, i thought she was quite successful this is demetrius thank you jay uh does any of the panelists have further comments or discussions Okay, then we're going to move over on to the final score, Krista. Thank you. This is Krista. We are looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0059. Jay, if I can start with you on this one, please. Jay Stedlin, my preliminary score is 21. Thank you. And Raja, please. Raja Raman, panelist, applicant number 0059. My preliminary score is 16. Thank you, and Marlise. Uh, this is Marlise, and my preliminary score is 18. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0059 are Marlise 18, Raja 16, and J21 for an average score of 18.3. Okay, this is Demetrius. We're going to start with our next one, which is AFG 24-0066. And uh, we will start it off with Mar Marlies. Do you have any uh, score and comments for us? Uh, yeah, this is Marlies, a preliminary score of 27. Um, I thought it was high quality work samples. Um, and, and, um, she did, it was, I think it was mentioned about diversity in the concept programming, but I didn't totally feel that in the, in the, in the samples that were submitted. Um, but I, yeah, there was a, but the, the samples overall were great and obviously an accomplished. Conductor. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay? This is panelist Jay Stebley. Uh, my preliminary score is 27. I'm sensitive about conductors, um, and and Roger can probably appreciate this, having associated with Sir Schulte. Um, she has a wonderful technique in the sense that it isn't really there, and there's nothing worse than a showboating conductor for my money. And she was very precise, very um, small beat. Uh, small gestures, but she gave the musicians everything they need, which is really important. She she must have a very good rehearsal technique because uh, she didn't need a lot of direction and, um, like I said, showboating to get it across. She has a really solid knowledge of the score, her communication to the audience through the music. I thought it was really outstanding. Um, even with these little audiences, I agree with Marlis that um, I didn't hear a lot of variety in the programming, um, but still on the basis of what I saw and heard, I, I was seeing a very commanding um, conductor. Uh, again, I think I'm impressed by um, just the ability to get so convey so much to the musicians, the very thing they need to do their best performance, which is you know the stick, the eyes, everything that a, a good conductor does uh, at a minimum, and uh, I was very impressed with his performance. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? Panelist Raja Rahman, uh, applicant number 0066. My preliminary score is 20. Um, and I have my notes over here. Um, for the Tchaikovsky, uh, I thought the venue was lovely. Um, the orchestra could be tighter and I thought needs clearer direction. Um, for the Beethoven, 
um, I thought more communicative, better range of dynamics would make this more effective. Um, however, hats off for bringing this to that small venue. <laughs> um, the Skiorik, um, very good concert master. Um, the Vivaldi, um, I thought it could be more exciting if there was more energy from the stick. Uh, the musicians would respond if um, if we saw that. Um, and the Morricone, um, a nice expressive conducting here. Um, so um, those are my notes. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Does anyone wish to add more comments or discussions? This is panelist Jay Stebley. Um, I I would concur with both the other panelists about um, some of the communication things. I went on extensively about uh, the fact that she doesn't showboat and that she doesn't overextend herself physically to get things across for the, the musicians. Um, I, I will attest that the, some of the inaccuracies of the playing um, I don't think came from her stick so much as, as the musicians themselves. I got the feeling that they were under rehearsed more than anything else and not in anything strictly because of the conductor's technique. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Any other comments? Roger Allen, panelist, uh, in regards to um, Apkin 6 6. Uh, yeah, Jay, in response to your comments, I agree. Um, in my view, it is if 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 you're going to choose to submit uh, this as your representation, you know, for us to look at, then it should be a representative of what is your best work. Thanks. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies, do you have any other discussions or comments? Uh, not at this. This is Marlies. Not at this time. Awesome. This is Demetrius. Krista, we're ready for final score. This is Krista. We're looking at the final round one scores for application AFJ 24-0066. Marlies, if we can start with you, please. This is Marlies Simmons. Uh, my preliminary score is 24. Thank you. Raja, please. This is panelist Raja Rahman regarding applicant 66. My preliminary score is 20. Thank you. And Jay, please. Jay, you're muted. This is panelist Jay Stebley. My preliminary score is 27. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0066 are Marlies 24, Raja 20, J 27 for an average score of 23.7. This is Demetrius. We are at another opportunity to take a break. I suggest that we break until 11.15. I think it's 11.08 now a.m. What does everyone think about breaking until 11.15? This is Marlene, that sounds great. Okay, I'm ready to take a break. I'm happy to break if everyone else is. Roger Raman. This is Demetrius. Sounds great. So we will get back on at 1115. Remember to mute your mics and see you in a bit.
the Sapira um, Raja, you should be able to um, start your video. I just made you co-host. There yeah. I am. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Are we all about ready to get started? Okay. All right. If everyone's ready, we'll start with our next, which is a AFG 24-68. And we'll start off with J. Jay, what uh, is your preliminary score in comments, please? Make sure you turn on your mic. This is panelist Jay Stebley. Uh, regarding uh, applicant 0068, uh, coloratura, that's a special field and it's um, it's limited but it's spectacular when it's done correctly, when it when it hits all the marks. Um, my preliminary score for this artist is 24. Uh, clearly a commanding um, presence as far as her voice is concerned. Uh, I My notes show that I wondered about what she's actually communicating besides obviously the music, the composer, uh, composer's intention, but where she wants to go with this. Um, wasn't entirely certain, but as far as performances goes, I, I, I found this to be very high caliber. Um, I would go see her at the San Francisco Opera House if she was to come through there. Um, and that's why my score is 24. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? Panelist Raja Rahman regarding applicant 0068. My preliminary score is 19. Uh, my notes are uh, a very well-trained voice and a nice variety of repertoire. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? This is Marlies. Uh, my preliminary score is 21. Uh, obviously, a very well-accomplished singer in the style. Um, wasn't... Uh, wasn't too sure about any specific impact or in community or what what she was the goal was with her performance. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Does any of the panelists have additional comments or discussions? This is panelist Jay Stebley. Again, to the point of um, a great deal of these artists, what we're communicating to the public, the general public. Uh, when it comes to opera, that's a particularly <laughs> difficult thing uh, because we're fighting against the perception that uh, opera is elitist. And I think what she does with her uh, performances and her uh, intended purposes or stated purposes is to broaden that audience. This is the holy grail of every performing arts group, and especially in classical music and opera in particular. Um, and I think she does a good job of communi communicating the power of opera through the quality of her voice, her repertoire, and her, and her performances. Uh, but to Marlise's uh, point, it's how do we get, how is she intending to get into that community, to expand uh, that community, to, to bring in a, a wider audience and uh, achieve more appreciation for opera and particularly like I say in her and the singer's range of, of voice um, it's a difficult thing and I, I I probably scored her higher just because of that effort this is Demetrius thank you Jay Marlies Raja any more further comments Okay, then we'll move on to our final score. Krista? This is Krista. We are looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0068. Raja, if we can start with you, please. 
This is panelist Roger Rahman regarding applicant 0068. My preliminary score is 19. Thank you. Marlies, please. This is panelist Marlies Simmons. Uh, my score is 21. Thank you. And Jay, please. Panelist Jay Stebley, my preliminary score for 0068 is 24. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0068 are Marlies 21, Raja 19, and Jay 24 for an average score of 21.3. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Krista. We are now moving on to AFG 24-0082. Raja, what's your preliminary score and comments? Panelist Raja Rahman, in regards to applicant 0082, my preliminary score is 27. I really enjoyed this artist. Um, my notes. Well produced, uh, nice flute solo mixed with a track. Um, a cone, very interesting mix. Uh, great texture, nice inner voices. Um, number three, great rhythms, voice, melodic mix. And number four, uh, beautiful groove, great groove and instrumentation. I really enjoyed this one a lot. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies, how about you? Yes, uh, this is Marlies. My preliminary score is 26. I, I thought it was a very interesting and unique fusion of different sonic worlds. Uh, really appreciated the high quality of work samples and explanation. Um, there was one sample, there was a mention of a photo project, which I would have loved to have seen. But I, there was, I think that felt like there was a sample missing in regards to what was stated in the work sample. Um, would you just like to have known a little bit more about the uh, the journey of this artist and, and what, you know, where they, something to help me understand where they're going with this project, but I really enjoyed it. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay? This is Jay Stebley. My scoring for 0082 is 22. And I concur with the other panelists about the quality and the um, mix and the overall sound picture. Um, really lovely stuff. Uh, my biggest question, though, is was concerning his stated intent with this work. Um, he emphasized the folk nature of the music, uh, particularly for uh, indigenous people of North America, and how he drew upon that music. My question as I was listening to it is, if I hadn't read that in the commentaries, would I have guessed it? Would I have understood that that's where his sources were coming from? Except for the the um, the presence of uh, the particular acoustic instruments like the, the Navajo flute, I, I, I wouldn't have guessed that that's where this was, was coming from. And I wouldn't have guessed that he was trying to expose his audiences to that that genre of music. So that question actually held me back from um, responding more than just to the general soundscape that I was getting, which I appreciated very much. Again, I, I agree with everyone else. The quality was very high. But how do you go about, uh, unless you're actually present with your audience and explaining to them this particular passage uh, refers to this particular American tribe, this uh, this particular uh, genre of folk music. I, I wasn't getting that, and uh, it, I, I wrote notes saying there was a wonderful use of techno sourcing and sampling, but again, it, it didn't strike me as so individual that I would have recognized it as, as uh, indigenous American. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Um, do we have added comments or discussions regarding this application? If not, we will move on to Krista with the final score. This is Krista. We are looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0082. Marlies, if we can start with you on this one, please. Sure, this is Marlies Simmons. This is, my score is 26. Thank you. Raja, please. 
Panelist Roger Rahman regarding 0082. My final preliminary score is 27. Thank you. NJ, please. Okay, Stephanie, my um, preliminary score is 22. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0082 are Marlies 26, Raja 27, and J22 for an average score of 25.0. Awesome. This is Demetrius. We are moving on now to AFG 240083. Marlies, what is your preliminary score and comments, please? Uh, my preliminary score is 12. Uh, my comment was mainly that the examples, the work samples submitted were way too short and didn't really, I was super unclear on what the artist's performance was and what the, um, and also with the, what the scope of the work or just intent in general. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay, what about you? This is Jay Stebley uh, regarding 0083. Uh, my preliminary score is 20. Uh, I had difficulty um, catching the drift between what people need to hear, what he thinks people need to hear that was hidden, and what they want to hear. Um, the message was difficult for me to catch again uh, because of the brevity of the samples, um, the, it's kind of um, unfocused and as far as the flow is concerned, that was quite good, but uh, nevertheless, it, it seemed limited and there was a, a sense of actual hesitancy. So, um, I, I again, it was just confusion um, in the messaging. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? Analyst Raja Rahman regarding applicant 0083. My preliminary score is 15. I concur with my fellow panelists. Um, I My notes were simply good effort from this artist. Thanks. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Any additional discussions? Krista, final score, please. This is Krista. So we are looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0083. Jay, if I can start with you on this one, please. This is Jay, my final score is 20. Thank you, Marlies, please. Uh, this is Marlies, my final score is 12. Thank you, and Raja, please. This is Raja, my final score is 15. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0083 are Marlies 12, Raja 15, J 20 for an average panel score of 15.7. This is Demetrius. We're moving right along. Um, we will now go to AFG 24-0084. All right, so let's start with Jay. Jay, what is your preliminary score and comment, please? Jay, you're muted still. This is Jay, my apologies. My preliminary score for um, 0084 is 21. I, I, I was interested in this a great deal. Um, it's very strong content, uh, but one of my notes says it makes compelling listening, but I can't imagine dancing to it. Um, so that brings a question of, of uh, where it is in the community. Um, I, I'd want to know more about it, and the uh, introductory notes were were strong, but I, I still didn't get a sense of how they saw this uh, working within the community. But um, I'd like to see more of it, so I probably I, I tried to be as generous with the score as I could. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja, how about you? Raja Raman here regarding applicant 0084. My preliminary score is 24. I felt the first song 
uh, it had a serious message, but perhaps more thought could be put to the music to support the lyrics. Um, the second song is more successful in this effort. The music is good and well produced. Thank you. This is Demetra. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? This is Marlies. Uh, my score is 21. Uh, yeah, I thought this, the sample sent in were in high quality and uh, the content and the artistic the intent was, was clear. I was, um, and, you know, just looking for maybe variety and the musical support of the, of the lyrics as well. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Uh, does anyone have any further comments or discussions? All right, Krista, final score. Yes, ma'am. This is Krista. We are looking at uh, application AFG, final round one scores for application AFG 24-0084. Uh, Raja, if I can start with you on this one, please. Roger Rahman, regarding applicant 0084, my final sc preliminary score is 24. Thank you. And Jay, please. Uh, Jay Stebley, my um, final score is 21. Thank you. And Marlies, please. Uh, this is Marlies Simmons, and final score 21. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0084 are Marlies 21, Raja 24, and J21 for an average panel score of 22.0. All right, this is Demetrius. We are cooking. It is 1133, and uh, we are at FG24, AFG24-0086. Let's start with Raja. Raja, what is your preliminary score and comment? Panelist Raja Raman regarding applicant 0086. My preliminary score is 20. I My notes say a lovely trained voice, beautiful vibrato, um, an eloquent expression of Jewish culture. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marilis? This is my lease, uh, this was 24. Um, that is a beautiful singing. Um, I, I would have liked, uh, feel like the, I had to reread the kind of the artist statement a few times to, to especially the very first part, um, to really understand the point of what she was, where she was going with this music. Obviously, it's a unique style I was unfamiliar with. Uh, until this, and so a little bit for people that were familiar with this, a little bit more definition of of of, of the of the style and specific would have helped help me understand that. Too. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay. This is panelist Jay Stebley regarding applicant zero uh, zero eight six. Uh, I'm fairly sensitive to this music and to this style. I've played a lot of klezmer music in my time, um, and I'm very familiar with um, both the music, the culture, and her state of purpose of, one of her state of purposes was to um, continue the remembrance of the Holocaust. Um, as far as the quality of her, her actual performances, I. I thought was really remarkable. Again, I'm very familiar with this music and all the icons of, of this genre. Um, I put her up there. She, uh, she's a beautiful singer. She conveys a great deal of emotion, which is the heart and soul of this of this music. Um, I give her a 30 uh, because I think she hit on all three categories. I think she she hit the mark every time. Um, I was I was really moved by. The actual voice, not just the songs themselves, but I thought it was a beautiful voice. Um, uh, oftentimes, the emotion chokes the singer, not intentionally, but you can tell that they're adding more to it than there is. Um, but in this case, I thought she really hit the mark squarely and um, beautifully. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Uh, does anyone have additional comments or discussion?
Okay. Krista, final score, please. This is Krista. We are looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0086. Jay, if I can start with you on this one, please. This is Jay. Uh, my score is 30. Thank you. And Raja, please. Raja, regarding Alpcan 0086, my final score is 20. Thank you. And Marlies, please. This is Marlies. My final score is 24. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0086 are Marlies 24, Raja 20, and J30 for an average panel score of 24.7. And this is Demetrius, and we're ready for F A F G two four dash zero zero eight nine. We will start with Marlies for comments and score. This is Krista. We are on zero zero eight seven. Oh, I'm moving too fast. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. AFG 24-0087. Sorry about that. Uh, Marlies? Uh, yes. Uh, this is Marlies. Uh, preliminary score of 18. Um, my notes. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think I was a, a, it was a little blurry. Uh, specific like the artist, what the artist's role was in in the in the presentations that was in the work that were submitted, um, and I you know it had a good had a good it had a purpose for the community, but other than as far as the artist applying, I had a hard time connecting the dots. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies Jay. This is Jay Stebley. I gave this uh, a preliminary score of um, 28. I actually loved it, particularly the actual live session, um, which I thought I'd like to see this on a larger scale. Um, I I concur with Marlies about um, uh, the leadership or the actual, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I didn't get the sense of who was actually behind this and who was actually directing it. And of course with improv, particularly in jazz, uh, you're gonna have that sense because obviously everyone is hopefully having the same freedom to express themselves on their instrument or their singing uh, as they wish. And to that point, I thought it was, the improvs were great. Uh, the, the live session was fun because I it could I like the idea that they're actually involved in the audience more than just clapping or, you know, moving their, their limbs. Um, it felt like there was some sort of integration going on. It was really, really uh, inspiring. I really, I really enjoyed this a great deal. I'd like to see it out in, in the public and get more exposure. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? Panelist Raja Rahman. Regarding applicant uh, 0087, my preliminary score is 15. My notes, um, great groove, good voices. Um, I thought generally the music could have more, more texture, more form, more structure, um, just kind of speaking from the big picture. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Um, I believe we heard from all panelists, if I'm not mistaken. Are there any comments or discussions? This is Jay Stebley. Uh, I take Roger's point uh, uh, about just the variety of, of sound that they offer. Uh, and I, I agree to, but we're, we're given, <clears throat> excuse me, we're given such small samples of all these artists and we don't always get the full breadth of what they're capable of doing. <clears throat> and so that's why I'd like to, why I'd like to encourage them and, and uh, see them get more exposure uh, in Nevada. This is Krista. Um, Jay, if you could just confirm what your preliminary score was. I have 27, but you said 28. If you could just double check real fast for me. Yeah. 
You're correct. My addition to core. This is Jay. My addition to core. It is 27. Perfect. Thank you so much. And since I'm already on it, looked like there was no discussion, so we're just going to cruise over into the um, into the scores. All right, this is Chris. So we are looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0087. Uh, um, Raja, if we can start with you on this one, please. Raja, regarding applicant 0087, my preliminary score is 15. Thank you. Homer Elise, please. Yes, this is Marlies. My preliminary score is 18. Thank you. And Jay, please. This is Jay Stebley. My preliminary score is 27. Thank you. Final round one scores for AFG 24-0087 are Marlies 18, Raja 15, J 27 for an average score of 20.0. And this is Demetrius. We're ready to move on to AFG 24-009. So let's start it off with Jay. What is your Preliminary score and your comment, please. This is Krista J. You just muted yourself and um, just quick correction is 0089. Sorry. Oh, so sorry. Correct. This is Jay Stebley um, regarding panelists 0089. Uh, I gave a preliminary score of 23. Uh, it's a beautiful country style voice. She reminded me of this singer I really admire called Neko. Uh, the production values were outstanding. Um, it really helped her. Uh, I shouldn't say helped her. It, it um, allowed her to free up her voice. I thought it was a beautiful voice. I liked her songs very much, lyrics and everything, the delivery. Um, good intonation. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to hear more of this singer. and. Um, I uh, would like to um, ensure that she gets out into the public more often. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja. Raja Raman, in reference to applicant 0089, my preliminary score is 28. My notes. I really enjoy the submission. Great submission. Uh, beautiful voice, well thought out harmonies and instrumentation. I thought that was a really lovely balance in the mix as well. Um, really strong submission. I enjoy this very much. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? This is Marlies Simmons. Uh, my score is 20, 21. Um, Oh, yeah, I thought she had a, a, a beautiful voice. The work samples were, were of high quality. Um, they were all, you know, similar in, in a way, but they, I liked, I really liked the arrangements. Um, I have, with, within the style, I thought, you know, it, it wasn't super, in, super innovative, but I thought it was, it was, it was well-rounded. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Does anyone have any other discussions or comments to make on this application? Okay, looks like we're ready for final score, Krista. This is Krista. We're looking at the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0089. Marlies, if I could start with you, please. This is Marlies. My score is 21. Thank you. Jay, please. Jane, my score is 23. Thank you. Raja, please. Raja, my, my score is 28. Thank you. Final round one scores for application AFG 24-0089 are Marlies 21, Raja 28, J 23 for an average score of 24.0. Awesome. This is Demetrius. And it looks like we could break for a lunch. Shall we do 1215 guys? Uh, we could come back in 30 minutes and convene at 1215 to allow the staff to determine which applications move to the second round. What do we say? This is Sapira. Uh, we would 
would it be all right if we request just a, an additional five or 10 minutes on top of the lunch? Because we do have some stuff to discuss as staff. Um, so sure. if we return around like 12, 25, would that be all right with everyone? Specific time. 12, 25 sounds good to me. Great, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Um, this is Krista, be sure to mute while we're off and we'll see you all back at 12, 25.
This is Demetrius. I'm just checking to see if everyone is ready. It is 12.25. This is Sapira. I think we're just waiting on Krista to come back and then we can begin. Oh, there she is. All righty. Let's see, do we have all of our panel? Okay. Okay, this is Demetrius. We are in round two. So we'll allow more time for discussion. I will start the application number oh, with the application number, then panelists will discuss the application. After the discussion, Nevada Arts Council staff will ask each panelist to state their name and their round two score for the application. Once the score has been tabulated, we will put the score sheet on screen for panelists to review. If there is a large discrepancy in scores between panelists and on a certain application, the staff may ask panelists to clarify their scores through discussion. Panelists will have the opportunity to adjust their scores at this time. If the panelist changes the score, please state the adjusted score and justification for the change. The Nevada Arts Council staff will determine if we move on to a third and final round. Okay, so let's get started. We will start with 0005. And Hold on just a second. Um, so we're going to deviate a little bit, I think, from how the script reads. And I know, Demetrius, you're at the ones yesterday we did this. And um, we're going to bring up the full um, the full spreadsheet of all of the applications so that everyone can see kind of where they land right now. Um, because as the staff, we wanna show you the kind of breaking point that we found within the scores so that we're okay. part of them into round two and then the lower ones we're not going to bring into round two unless one of you um, specifically wants to bring one of those lower scores um, scoring panelists in. If you're feeling passionate about them, we'll pop them up too. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share the screen and then Stefan and Sapir, if you want to pop in and um, provide any other information too. This is Sapir. This, there we go. So um, as you can see, panelists on the sheet, this is the round one scores, uh, and it's sorted by highest score at the top and lowest score on the bottom. The gray out area are the applications that we're not bringing forward to round two. Um, our score breaking point is 23 as an average score. Um, we invite you to review the scores in the gray out section. Um, that's line number 11 from AFG 24010 down. If you feel very passionate about a specific application, we, you can open that up for discussion to see if there are things that other panelists missed. Um, and then maybe if they wanna change their score at this time to bring it forth above that 23 point mark. Um, but that's that's not to say you have to do this. This is just, it, are there any applications you're okay? I mean, you're, you're really passionate about that. You wanna open it up for discussion. Um, and just a quick note, I don't see any tied score at the top five. Um, we do need a very clear rank from uh, the highest five scores because that's how we will be reviewing um, the average score to award the fellowship. So just the top five, um, it, not all five will be awarded. It'll be it, the total for our fellowship for um, all of performance is five. So this will include dance and theater for tomorrow's review, but um, we will need that top five scores to not have a tie. So if you, um, this is Krista, if you wanna take a close look at the numbers here um, and perhaps the scores that you gave each of them, if there's any that you want us to bring forward into round two review, um, any of you three, just let me know the application number 
and then we can bring it up into the um, not grayed out section before we pop into those reviews. Uh, this is Marlies. Um, yeah, I, I would like to perhaps if, uh, year zero five, which happens to be the first thing. But um, I do think that submission was um, again, you know, with all these submissions, it is like obviously what style of music that I might be more familiar with or just this grand scope of things but that submission was very strong in my opinion with the uh with the way that the artist uh the compositions and in within the style that he was doing and also because he did production and he was playing everything and he was that he was doing it. I, I just uh yeah it was a that was one i would i would want to see up there to be, perfect so we'll we'll go I, ahead you know it just happens to be the first one too, but it's just I think um yeah, that was one I, I really felt I was impressed with um because of yeah. Okay. Thank you. This is Krista. So we will move that up one, into the ones that we're gonna review and then you all get a get um a chance to have a deep discussion into the all of the ones that are gonna be um brought into round two. Do either of the other panelists have any that they would like to bring up for the, the deep dive discussion? My concern with the two operatic sopranos, um, their quality was was very high on the professional level. Um, but I don't, I don't. I guess my concern is the absence of of the presence of any kind like that in the field is is whether it's a, a you know a, something we can discuss or not. Uh, how how important is it to have opera represented in, in, in the community. Um, this is, Krista, so we, um, I think Stefan or Sapir, can you speak to that? I mean, we don't want to manipulate what's in the top scores. This Maybe. is um, Stefan for the record, yeah. So this is, this is, um, this is important for, um, I think the panelists to um, think about when you're scoring. It is really based on the work sample submitted and the review criteria that you're reviewing against. It's not about anything really outside of that or trying to um, look at a certain genre that's maybe underrepresented. In, um, it is specifically review criteria and the work samples that you're that you're adjudicating to. And on that note, if you do, this is Crystal, on that note, if you do want to bring one of those applications in, whichever ones they may be, you um, can just let me know the application number and we can bring the um whichever up into the deep dive discussion for round two if you like yeah and um, this is stefan um, for the record again um i've just got a couple questions i think for um for staff so i'm wondering if we can just take a quick break here for like two or three minutes okay sounds good can sounds we do that so we'll just take a quick we'll just take a quick break for two or three minutes and we'll be right back.
Hello, this is Sapira. Sorry about that, everyone. I'll wait for you to come back. Um, Krista, could you pull up the score sheet one more time? Thank you. I'm so sorry, everyone. Just a slight adjustment in the procedure of moving into round two. So we can't, uh, before we move into round two, we just want to get those applications in the gray out area you're very passionate about. We have to discuss that now and confirm your scores for round one to say that, you know, it's not going to be above it's not going to move into, sorry, let me rephrase. So any applications in the gray area that you feel very passionate about, for example, zero AFG 24005, um, we're going to open the discussion now and have the panelists confirm their score in still in round one. Um, and if the confirmed score does not change, then it will not move on to round two. However, if throughout that conversation, it changed, um, to a 23.0 or above, then you will go to round two. So, so far we have one application that's the AFG 240005 up for discussion. Are there any other up for discussion before we move officially into round two? And this is Stefan for the record. And this is basically kind of a prelude to, to round two. And this is what we'll be doing expanding the discussion in round two of these applications. So I think uh, um, the, the suggestion has been made for 005 um, by, uh, by a panelist that she feels that that application should possibly be discussed a little bit more in depth um, that could possibly lead it to, to round two. Now the discussion can ensue between the three panelists um, between each other to discuss that. And if um, Marlise has um, persuaded any of the panelists that, that that should go to round two. But the discussion is between the three panelists on whether you agree with uh, that suggestion or not. And then we'll take another final score. And if it makes the cut, it makes the cut. And if it doesn't, then we just move to round two. Okay, this is Demetrius for the record. So do we now open up 0005? for discussion and comments with the panel. This is Stefan for um, for the record. That's correct, Demetrius, that, that would be great. Well, okay, this is Demetrius for the record. Um, Raja, do you have additional comments or discussions for 0005? This is Raja regarding applicant number 0005. Um, not at this time. Um, you know, this is one of those situations where if I'm going to re-examine something, I'd want to take a, another listen to the work samples. Um, and perhaps I just do that for a second while you guys are still discussing. Um, I did do that in our little break of three minutes. I did take another listen. Um, um, this is Stefan for the record. And Roger, look, we, we will, this is something that we're um, allowed to do. And if you feel that you need a several minutes to re-examine the um the work samples um both you and jay ab absolutely you're you're allowed to do that and we can take that time to allow you to do that if you wouldn't mind if i could have maybe four minutes just to take another quick review um because it's true we're pretty far apart between marlisa and um and jay and myself so i i wouldn't mind doing some diligence and just taking a second look and or listen and maybe four minutes reconvene This if is everyone, perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Sorry, Demetrius. No this problem. Jay, I agree. Thank you. So this is Demetrius. So we will give uh, four minutes, four minutes, five minutes for um, another review. Okay.
This is Demetrius. Um, are the panelists ready to, uh, Raja, Raja, are you ready to discuss further? Yes, this is Raja regarding uh, applicant 0005. Um, I'll listen to the work samples more carefully. Uh, again, I'll review them a second time. Um, my inclination is to um, to raise my number a wee bit to 19. Thank you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Marlies, hang on. <laughs> Let's go to Jay first. Jay? Hi, this is Jay. I wonder if I can read from my original notes, because I think it'll give you a sense of why I well, prefer to leave my score where it is. Uh, in my notes, I wrote, I've listened to these tracks many times. The debt to the past is clear and the connection strong, but I'm not sure whether it creates something new, in quotes, without sounding like a throwback or cliche, in quotes. Certainly some new synth gives it edge as well as warmth. I wanted a little more to go on to hear whether I find it makes, quote, sense to a modern listener, unquote, or it's still searching for its niche. No doubt the analog production values are honest and overall excellent. I don't always hear the direction it wants to go. And because of that, I think I would like to keep my score where it is. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Marlies, did you have anything to add to the discussion? Uh, sure. Um, you know, I guess for me, it's, um, this, this, uh, the, the fact that this guy um, recorded and did all, did, did it all was a super, you know, he, from, from what I'm getting from what he, the, the, the notes in his description, um, that he's playing every instrument on the album, uh, that he recorded it all and that he, he's using analog and he, in my, in my opinion, he really actually nails it with what he's trying to do. And, um, you know, this style of music right now is, 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 a, there's a lot of that, of it, of it happening right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm sort of in tune with a lot of it. Uh, and this is, it, you know, not to, com of course I'm comparing, but like to, to hear in my mind, modern people, what they're doing with this style of music right now, versus this these examples. This is very, this is high end um, for me. Uh, and that's why I, well, you know, that's why I felt strongly about it. And, you know, it's um, this style of music, you really listen for groove and it's right on with the groove and it's and this and the sound and the warmth. So that's, you know, that's all I, I have to, that's the main thing I have to say. I, I just think it's super impressive that, you know, that he's, that he, that he did all of it, that he recorded it, every instrument. That's, you know, that's not easy. <laughs> very, that's impressive. I think that's, a, I think it's a talent. That's, and I think that's important. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Mm -hmm. uh, any further comment or discussions? Uh, not, this is Jay. Not to make argument, I, I see Marlies's um, points very clearly uh, i really i really get it uh, there's no doubt that the fact that the, the amount of technical ability and talent that went into it is impressive um i have to admit that at my age i've heard an awful lot of music i worked at tower records for 15 years back in the 80s and 70s i've heard a lot of music um and across every genre um and I accept that the it got a groove. I thought some of some of the change ups were kind of jarring, but nevertheless, I, I understand her her ear following the groove. That's I, I agree with that. But I still don't see um, its overall um, impact. Uh, it 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 had a sameness to it. It may have had a groove, but it had a sameness to it. The impressiveness of the production are, are one thing, but then what was actually said it was like being able to speak a language and then not not 
using it to its full ability. Um, that's the sort of thing that I, I had trouble seeing the direction it was going. It's a here and now proposition, and maybe that's the way things are today. But nevertheless, um, I just I, I couldn't I couldn't see what was going to happen next. And I think when it comes to art and art and entertainment, you have to have a strong sense of, of that. And I didn't get that. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Any other comments? This is Raja. Um, my feeling regarding African Triple Zero Five, um, it's I think it's less about process, and I think it's less about um, talent per se, and I think it's more about the work sample that's been presented, and in our, in our opinions, um, judging the work samples for face value, um, artistically, creatively, um, and seeing how the final product comes across as a as a work of art, as a performance work of art. Um, I'm sure there are many applicants uh, in this field we have in front of us that are highly talented. Um, that are perhaps very well trained as well, but perhaps the putting together of the elements may not have come together as successfully as some others. So I think for me, when I am looking at these work samples, I have to work with the one parameter, which is a constant, and that is the final works work sample and not the process, not the intents necessarily, not the talent level per se, but it has to be based upon what you, what we've all been given in front of us as evidence of what they're doing. And that's the way I'm looking at it. Thanks. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Any other comments? This is Demetrius. So I do have a question um, to the staff regarding the process from this point forward. Are we working with the categories between rows two and 10? This is Krista. We're going to do um, a quick review of 0005 that was just discussed, and then we will move into the official round two with the upper um, two through 10 line items in the spreadsheet. Um, so this is Krista. We are going to do a quick re-review of the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0005. Um, Marlisa, if I can start with you to confirm or adjust your score, this would be the time. Uh, yes, I confirm my score. Confirm your score of 27? This is Marlisa, yes, I confirm my score of 27, yes. Thank you, Raja. This is Raja. I will confirm my raised score from 17 to 19. Thank you. And Jay, please. This is Jay. I'm confirming that my score remains at 19. Thank you. Um, this is Chris reconfirming the final round one scores for application AFG 24-0005. We have Marlise at 27, Raja at 19, and Jay at 19 for a final average score of 21.7. Um, in this case, that does not bring it up into the area of 23.0 or above, so it will not move forward into the round two discussion. Um, so we are going to um, remove those. I'm going to give me just a second. I'm going to stop share, remove the lower scores, and then we will uh, move forward We'll keep it in the same order of the hierarchy from uh, average score highest to lowest and just work through those in deep dive discussions and see if um, anything changes back in just a moment.
All right, this is Krista. I'm back. I'm going to reshare my screen and then for the duration of round two, we'll just keep the screen up the whole time so that you guys can see as things are adjusting. And uh, let me get that up there. And then Demetrius, you can cruise forward with um, just allowing kind of an open discussion on the applications on each one individually, though. Okay, <laughs> okay this is Demetra. Demetrius. Thank you, Krista. All right, so let's start with the application 0032. And we will start with a preliminary uh, a score or maybe a change of score and a comment from Raja. Oh, hold on, this is Chris real quick. So um, we don't wanna change scores yet. Um, you can just um, 0032 and open the floor for discussion amongst the three panelists. And the three of you can just kind of discuss, make any points, have um, some back and forth dialogue. And then um, when it seems like you're kind of done with that and, and kind of finalize where your thoughts are on it, then we'll move into um, any adjustments and scores. Okay, got it, thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so um, application 0032 is open for discussion for the panelists. This is Raja. Uh, I, I stand by my preliminary score of 27 for 0032. I thought it was a strong application and seems like uh, the panelists are pretty close. So I'll I'll stand by my uh, 27. Thanks. This is uh, sorry. This is Jay. Uh, I stand by my score to it. You know, it's a perfect 10, and I guess that's implying perfection, which it certainly isn't. But nevertheless, uh, what I felt was as a double threat, a composer of obviously high skills and ability and originality I, I i can never um sneeze at that um as a musician his on um, violin he was uh really remarkable obviously of, of a high caliber um overall i just felt that i really want it's not even so much personal bias uh for this genre of music it's it was simply the quality and the beauty of the presentation which i would hope would move any audience regardless of the demographic and that's why i scored it high so i can hope that you will get a broader audience thank you this is demetrius thank you jay uh marlies yeah uh, this is marlies um yeah i was in super impressed with this artist samples and I would actually like to raise my score to 28 because I think after considering everything I I realized how I how impressed I was with all the comments that have been made about about it. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. So now are we ready to do a score or score change, an official score or score change. Uh, Kristen, do I, at this point, do I ask for a final score again? Um, this is Lisa. So when it sounds like um, conversation is done, I'm going to mute you real quick, Marlise. Um, when it sounds like conversation is done, yeah, we'll just move over into final scores. So um, we'll just go through basically the same process as before, but this is your final scores for these applications. So any adjustments do need to be made now and um, justification, which can be as simple as, um, I would like to change my score due to information shared by other panelists or something along those lines. Um, so final uh, round two scores for application AFG 24-0032. Marlise, if we can start with you, please. Yeah, this is Marlise. I would like to raise my score to 28. Uh, and this is based on me reconsidering um, how impressed I actually was with this artist application. Perfect. Thank you. And Raja? This is Raja. Uh, actually, likewise, after looking at my notes more carefully regarding applicant uh, 0032, they're really stellar. My notes are very strong. Um, so likewise, I think I'm going to raise my score to 28 as well. Thank you. And Jay, please. Jay, I will stay with my score of 30. 
I um, I just believe he's reaching for the stars and, and yeah, at such a small scale, I think he's gonna. Perfect, thank you. Final uh, round two scores for application AFG 24-0032 are Marlies 28, Raja 28, and J30 for an average score of 28.7. And then Demetrius, you can uh, open up the next one for discussion. Thank you, Krista. This is Demetrius. All right, we're going to start our next discussion on 0027. Uh, open discussion. We will start with Marlies. Yes, this is Marlies Simmons. Um, and I stand by my score of 28. Um, I, I thought that this, this uh, artist was, uh, was impressed with this artist's mission. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay? Uh, this is Jay. I'm inclined to not go up a tick two to concur with the other panelists. The only problem is, is I I did uh, have a feeling that I there is a, there was a limited view of what he could do. And again, we have to judge on the on the basis of what we actually saw and heard. Um, and on that on that note, I have to leave Miss Bullard twenty six. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay Raja. Raja Raman here in regards to double O two seven. Um. In considering 0027, and by the way, do we have to bring this down to a final five or final three or final? What's the final number we have to bring this down to? This is Sapira. Go ahead, <laughs> For the um, What we're looking for is a clear um, ranked hierarchy. So total fellowship award, we can award five. Um, that's between music, um, performance, um, and dance and theater. Um, so we still have another panel tomorrow. Um, what we're looking for in this panel is just a clear ranking of um, a, a clear ranking um, of, and we can't have any tie scores in the top five slots. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I'm trying to uh, establish a point of comparison between all these um, higher ranking um, um, applicants. And um, I'm just looking at uh, applicant 0066 and trying to know, trying to figure out if I want to reconsider that 20 I gave. So um, right now for 27, can I kind of withhold my final ranking on this until we go through them again? Is that possible? This is Krista. Um, no, when we do these scores right now, this is what our final scores are going to be. If there is something very, very tight, we might go into a round three for a, a very top section of them. It, it just kind of depends on how everything falls once we go through them. But um, final scores are now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and excuse me, this is Stefan for the record as well. That That's correct. Um, so we will do a hierarchy and a review of each application. And at the end of this round, if there is a panelist who has questions and would like to discuss things further, um, we can go to a third round if necessary. Um, so this is not set in stone yet. We, I mean, there's more dialogue to be had if, if there are questions at the end of it. Mm -hmm. My inclination at this point really is to compare with Jay. Um, he has a very good point in in repertoire. And at the end of the day, this is what I've been saying. It's we must judge based upon what's been presented in front of us. Um, yeah. So I my inclination is to lower my score to 26. So that's what I stand by. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Are there any more discussions? Okay, we will go to the final score with Krista. This is Krista. So we're looking at the final round two scores for application AFG 24-0027. Uh, Raja, if we can start with yours, please. This is Raja regarding application 0027. My, my preliminary score is 26. 
26 for your final in round two on that one. Uh, and Jay, please. This is Jay Steadley. Uh, my uh, score remains the same at 26. Thank you. And Marlise, please. Well, uh, yeah, this is Marlise. Yeah, after listening to these comments, um, I think I would like to just lower one point to 27. Thank you. Final round two scores for AFG 24-0027 are Marlies 27, Raja 26, J 26 for an average score of 26.3. And then we can uh, move to number 0082. This is Demetrius. We are now um, looking at application 0082. And we will start with Jay. Jay, do you have anything to add to the discussion? This is Jay. Um, my initial comments still stand. Um, again, it was just uh, based on what I was hearing in the music and uh, its slight disassociation with the intended comments. No doubt the, um, the performance was remarkable and, and the recording was remarkable, but um, Again, I, I want to know what this is going to be like uh, in the wider community. How is it actually communicating his first uh, statement of intent? Um, I didn't feel it got there, so I'll keep my score. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? This is Raja regarding Afghan 0082. Um, I will stand by my score of 27. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Uh, yeah, this is Marlies. Um, I'm just looking a little more time at my notes here. Yeah, I, I really, you know, it was, it was, a, it was really an interesting for me, an interesting fusion of 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 uh, sounds. Uh, I really, I thought it was, I thought it was really great. But yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna stand on my score for you. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Any other discussions or comments? Okay, if not. Then we go for final score with Krista. This is Krista. We're looking at the final round two scores for application AFG 24-0082. Uh, Jay, if I can start with you, please. Jay Stubbley, I stand by my score of 22. Thank you. Raja, please. This is Raja Raman regarding 0082. I stand by my score of 27. Thank you. And Marlies, please. So this is Miley Simmons and stand by my score of 26. Thank you. Final round two scores for AFG 24-0082 are Marlies 26, Raja 27, and J22 for an average score of 25 even. This is Demetrius. We're ready to move on to 0086. Raja, do you have um, um, further comment or discussion on this application? This is Raja regarding applicant 0086. I do not. I uh, stand by my score of 20. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? This is Marlies. Um, yeah, I am taking into consideration, especially the points that Jay, Jay brought up uh, regarding this application. Um, and I'm considering raising it point I'm still thinking but I you know I do remember really enjoying this late uh, performance and um, 
it was great to see so many. It really helped when applicants sent in a lot of examples. It, you know, if they didn't have to be so long, um, it, it really helped. You know, and this this was one of the applications that really was uh, useful in her sending in a variety of samples. And um, yeah, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm processing. So we'll, when we get to the final to the final moment, I will. I'm, I'm inclined to raise my raise it a little bit. This is a Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay. This is Jay Steadley. Um, this was a complicated application because we're dealing with uh, an artist that is part artist and part historian uh, a, and a cultural um, protector, as it were. I'm not speaking so much about um, her uh, examples from Holocaust memory, but also from um, the Yiddish um, presence in the world and its art forms. That said, I was impressed with her performance. I, I loved her voice, um, it's a beautiful voice and, and conveyed what she so clearly wanted to convey. Um, but you know, in the long run, I, I also have to consider um, where her voice is in the whole scheme of things with the other applicants and stuff like this. I'm actually gonna lower my score by two points to 28. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Any further discussion from any of the panelists? Okay, then we're going to go to final score with Krista. Yes, as Krista, we are looking at the final round two scores for AFG 24-0086. Uh, Jay, if I could start with you, please. Uh, um, this is Jay upon further consideration on lowering my score by two points to 28. Thank you. And Raja, please. This is Raja Raman for applicants 0086. I'm sticking by my score of 20. Thank you. And Marlies, please. This is Marlies Simmons. Um, taking into consideration, I raise it to 25. Thank you. Uh, final round two scores for application AFG 24-0086 are Marlies 25, Raja 20, J28 for an average score of 24.3. This is Demetrius. We're now going to move on to application 0089. Uh, open discussion. We will start with Marlies. Uh, this is my lease. Um, I'm looking at my notes for a second. Um, um, yeah, I, I, I remember enjoying the samples and the singing. Um, I, for the genre, I think I just, I thought it was great. I wasn't like, blown away, um, and I think that's why I'm, I'm sticking to my score of, of uh, 21 right now. Uh, I'm, I'm so processing, but that, that's how I feel right now. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlene. <laughs> Jay? This is Jay. I'm sorry, I was off mic for just one second. Um, uh, I enjoyed this immensely. I love the voice. Like I said, she reminds me of the singer I admire very much, and I think she's of that caliber. Um, and the production was wonderful. Um, again, it becomes a question of where it fits in the community and how much she would be contributing to the community. But on the basis of of the presentation and what I actually heard. Um, I'm actually going to lower my score by two points to 21. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? This is Raja regarding applicant 0089. 
I'm going to stick by my score of 28. I I really enjoyed this um, submission. Um, often I ask myself, would I buy this at, you know, at a record store or online streaming platform? And and I would this one. I thought I thought it was really strong. It it had a lot of great quality to it. Um, and I would continue listening to it. I wouldn't just turn it off after two three minutes. So um, I thought this was strong, and I and I congratulate this artist for for a job well done. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Are uh, any more discussions? Okay, we will move on to Krista for final score. This is Krista. We're looking at the final round two scores for application AFG 24-0089. Uh, if we could start with Jay, please. Oh, Jay, you just muted yourself. Beg your pardon. This is Jay Steadley. Uh, I lowered my score by two points to 21. Thank you. And Marlies, please. Uh, this is Marley Simmons. Um, standing by my score 21. Thank you. And Raja, please. Raja Raman, I am keeping my score 28. Thank you. Final round two scores for AFG 24-0089 are released 21. Uh, Raja 28, J 21 for an average score of 23.3. And this is Demetrius. We're now moving on to 0066. Open discussion. We will start with J. This is Jay Stebley. Um, I appreciated the comments by the other panelists. Um, and I concur with what they saw as limitations or, you know, um, things that just didn't quite get there. I, um, I still appreciate her technical ability um, and the fact that she um, was pretty concise in, in her actual conducting. I mean, I, I, it's the kind of conduct that I really like. That. Yeah. Um, the end result was... Um, ensemble problems uh, here and there. The overall thrust of it was wonderful. I, was, I, I thought in the Beethoven and the Tchaikovsky, she was, she was quite convincing. Um, but I, I did hear the infelicities that may have crept in, and I believe it was more from rehearsing than anything else. But that said, um, in the larger scheme of things is where she, where she brings her work to Nevada and um, on the basis of what I saw and what I believe can happen, I think I'll lower my score by uh, at least one tick to 26. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? This is Raja <clears throat> regarding Apkin 0066. Um, I reviewed this very carefully, this uh, submission. Um, no doubt on, on technique. Um, however, artistically, I think there could have been better um, nuances within the orchestra, um, color and dynamics, and that's something that should be communicated through the stick uh, or through her body language. I didn't see that. So I'm going to um, stick with my score of 20. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Uh, this is Marlies. Um, I'm going to just stand by my score of 24. I don't have further comments. Thank you, Marlies. Mm -hmm. This is Demetrius. Um, we are, are there any other discussions before we go to final score? I do, have, uh, this is Jay Shevley. I do have a, a question. Um, I, and I'm not sure how to put this, I, you know, I concur with um, Rogers um, as far as the end result. It wasn't sterling in that sense, but um, I, I think she was 
the, the recording was also faulty. The voicing was poorly, was, was bad overall. So there were inner voicings you couldn't hear. And I don't think that was the conductor's fault. Okay, so I give, I give her that. Um, my concern is, um, you know, where it places her on the overall score of things. You know, there's some artists that I feel more strongly about than I do in her, her performance. So my question is, is do we make value judgments based on who we'd like to see ranked? Or do we just go with, you know, wh where we stand on, on judgment? Hi, this is Stefan Reed for the record. Um, again, um, this is a, a scoring and work sample kind of issue. Um, as, as round two kind of plays out, it does get difficult because these scores are tight. Um, you are definitely allowed to have favorites as you're kind of working through here based on what you're seeing in the work sample and how you've scored things. Um, but then in the end, um, you have to... Um, you have to concur with panelists or not concur with panelists as you're moving through round two and the scores in the end will will fall where they where they may. Um, so hopefully you're you're adjudicating the process based on the the review criteria and the work samples. And um, not everybody is probably going to agree, as you can see through some of the scoring here. Um, but you need to try to stay as tight to that as you possibly can. Okay, this is Demetrius for the record. Any other discussions for 0066? We will now do final score with Krista. This is Krista. We are looking at the final round two scores for AFG 24-0066. Raja, if I can start with you, please. This is Raja. My final score is 20. Thank you. Jay, please. Oh, Jay, you're muted. Sorry, this is Jay Stebbing. My final score is 27. 27, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Final score, 27. Thank you. Uh, and Marlise, please. Uh, this is Marlise. Um, I'm by my score of 24. Thank you. Final scores for AFG 24-0066 are Marlise 24, uh, Raja 20, J27 for an average score of 23.7. This is Demetrius moving right along. We're now going to open discussion for 0017. We'll start off with Raja. This is Raja regarding applicant number 0017. My notes. Great production, beautiful voice, very enjoyable submission. At this point in time, I'm going to stick with my uh, score of 23. I may request a re listen, uh, but let's see how the conversation goes, if I may. Okay, this is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlise? This is Marlise. Um, yeah, I'm looking over my notes and looking at, at my total score and feeling like based on everything that's been transpired, I feel like it, I'm feeling like it's a little lower because I did, I did lower than I would uh, like to score her with submission. So, um, I'm considering um, uh, raising it right now. Uh, I'm just looking at my notes, so yeah, that's all right now. Okay, this is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlise. And Jay. This is Jay Stebley. Uh, I went over my notes again and reviewed uh, my original thoughts. I think I stand by those thoughts, but I'm going to lower the the score by two clicks to 25 um just based on the range the that the artists 
may or may not be able to get um, going forward. I'd like to encourage it, but um, at this point, I'm just going to lower my score to 26. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Uh, any other discussions? Okay, we'll go to final score with Krista. This is Krista. Um, Raja, did you want to take another listen as you mentioned? Thank you, Krista. This is Raja. Um, yes, if you wouldn't mind if I could have just two minutes to take a, just another re-listen. I'll this be I'd sure, appreciate. this is Chris, so we can take a couple of minutes. Um, everyone, go ahead and turn off cameras, go on mute, and take a peek at the application again if you would like to as well. Okay. This is Demetrius. Um, Raja, are you ready for further discussion or comment? This is Raja. Yes, thank you very much for that. Uh, in regards to uh, 0017, I did take another listen. Um, I'm going to raise my score to, to 24. I thought the voice is very beautiful. I thought the uh, the mix is wonderful. I thought uh, there's a lot of strong points to it so that it deserves an extra point. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Any other more, any more discussion? Okay, Christy, final score. Thank you. This is Krista looking at final round two scores for application AFG 24-0017. Um, Marlise, if we can start with you on this one. Sure, this is Marlise Simmons. Um, and I feel like for whatever reason, I a little bit lower than I, after reconsidering everything, I would like to um, to raise it to 24. Thank you. Uh, Raja, please. This is Raja regarding application 0017. I am raising my score to 24, please. Thank you. And Jay, please. This is Jay Stebley. Uh, I concur with my fellow panelists. I don't think I'm being over generous by leaving the score at 27. Thank you. Final round two scores for AFG 24-0017 are Marlies 24, Raja 24, and J27 for an average score of 25. 
This is Demetrius. We're now ready to move on to 0054. Uh, we'll start the open discussion with Marlies. Okay, uh, give me two seconds here to look at my notes. This is Marlies. Um, This, yeah, this submission was, I mean, the amount of work and details and the setup and all the sounds, it, it makes me, it's, it's impressive for that. It's very impressive. Um, so um, I guess my thoughts are, are more about, since there was only one sample sent in, even though that sample was very, diverse and showing the different sounds and all the different you know things that have been created um, in the studio environment um i just didn't know how i, I just, honestly just didn't know how to to think about this in in respect to into the the, the audience and, and where this is and for who although it was great that it was mentioned there was a on a on a youtube channel that so maybe there's virtual collaboration so not much no not as much so maybe in the state of nevada or somewhere physical but more online there's like a community of people and exchanging ideas and collaborative so uh, i'm i'm thinking through this i would love any comments from the other panelists this is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Let's uh, go to Jay. This is Jay. Uh, I wonder if I can take a moment to read through my notes because I went on about it at some length because um, I found the whole project fascinating. And for Marlies, I would say that I, I do see the potential for a wider communi community um, uh, access. Uh, it, it is complicated. There's a lot of wires and, and, and knobs involved. But what I wrote was fascinating concept and execution. It's complexity control, the fantastic sound environment, and mesmerizing to watch and listen, which I like to emphasize. It's almost like going to a museum where you, you see the inner workings of a clock or something. The one man band technical marvels made me wonder about the wider application for the public. How involved is that setup? What is the expenditure for such performances and what is the net result? This is the sort of work I would like to experience in a large venue and not confined to a room, a museum, or other performance art space where people wander in and out. It won't replace an orchestra of live instruments, but I think it would be fantastic to integrate with a large ensemble. I gave a high score for the artistic impact on the community it could have in the hope that it can be facilitated uh, for wider influence. Uh, so I keep my score at 27. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? This is Raja regarding uh, applicant 0054. Very interesting submission. Fascinating. Um, strong musician. Um, at the end of the day, we're working on a scoring basis, but things do have to become relative to one to the other competing applications. So because of that, I do need to have separate them with points of reference and um, preference based upon various factors. I think for that reason, I'll stick by my my score of 18. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Uh, any further discussion before we go to final score? Uh, this is Marlies. Just passing thought of regarding to Jay's comments. Um, one thing I just popped in mind thinking about. Yeah, it was uh, seeing all those wires. Uh, make me, this makes me really nervous. <laughs> just, just, how do you even make this happen? But the the uh, you know logistics. You know, he, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't explained how and so it does leave us leaves me and us thinking like how where and how this can happen and i think that would have helped 
uh, if the application had explained more about presentations and in live situations, how this could happen. Um, you know, the logistics of bringing together an orchestra are extremely high. It, there's lots of logistics with that. So it's different, you know, it's different, obviously. Um, and I still think it's possible. So that's all. It was just a passing thought. It, 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 it was just Im impressive. So I'm, I'm trying to, to figure out how to, you know, as we're, you know, thinking about all the artists involved here, how, how to, to compare it and rank and rank them. That's all. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Uh, Raja, Jay, would you like to continue the discussion? I would add to what Marley said, essentially, you know, he probably does need a roadie to install his, his, uh, his apparatus, but um, I've seen concerts with symphony orchestras um, with rock bands or jazz bands or dancers where, yeah, the logistics are intense. Um, again, I think this is kind of like a, a almost a, a tactile presentation where the audience is so involved with the with the visual aspects of it, they they want to go up and 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 touch it or be involved with it. I I see um, on the basis of that sample that they sent that it's a very proactive thing, whether it's just visual and and audio uh, audio. Um, but I I see people just wanting to know more about it. And anytime you expand the consciousness of your listener through you know playing a flute over a, a, a synthetic track um if the end result is that they want to know more about it they want to hear it I, I i really see that as a as a plus for the community i just felt that the the whole project had a had a a popular um visual cue for people i think i think it would be fascinating uh, it, it could be a museum piece, but I think it was performance art. It's, it was a strong piece. And and I, I didn't hear a lot of comment about the musicality because there were some really beautiful sounds. The timbres, the mixture of voices, the instrumental sounds were really fascinating. And I, I, I felt I, I had a strong reaction, positive reaction to it within 30 seconds and listened to the whole thing. My only qualm would be that, yeah, it, it, it meandered a bit the one sample wasn't really enough to get a true sense of what this artist is capable of, but just on the basis of what I heard, I was, I was fairly impressed. This is Demetrius. Uh, Raja, would you like to add to that? This is Raja. No, I have no further comment. Thank you. Okay, then we're ready to move on to the final score. Krista? This is Krista. We're looking at the final round, two scores for AFG 24-0054. If I can start with Marlies, please. Uh, this is Marlies. I, can, I stand by my score of 25. Thank you. And Raja, please. This is Raja. I stand by my score of 18. Thank you. And Jay, please. Jay, you're muted. Again, I don't know why I can't distinguish between these buttons. <laughs> This is Jay Stebley. Um, I stand by my score of 27. I know it throws things into a quandary, but um, I stand by that score. Uh, this is Chris. So we um, final round two scores for AFG 24-0054 are Marlies 25, Raja 18, and Jay 27 for an average score of 23.3. Okay, this is Demetrius, and we're ready for open discussion on application 0006. Uh, let's start with Jay. This is Jay Stebley. Uh, I gave perfect scores to three people and uh, two of the people uh, seem to have made this the second round. And I gave a high score to this particular artist on the basis of his video. His live performances, I've seen buskers, street performers, drummers on um, on uh, utility cans all over the place. Um, I live in San Francisco often, and um, I see this sort of thing. I've done this sort of thing. 
and that was impressive enough. Clearly, he's got chops. He can really, he can really bang out. He's got a great, great rhythmic sense. There's no doubt that he can keep time. But he also has a purpose that I thought was fairly important. It, if he had been a cellist, like the the cellist in L.A. and in, in that that movie, the solos, um, you could see. You could be impressed by that and, and moved by it, but here's a guy banging on cans. Is it the same thing? I do believe it is, especially when he's at the quality and the level that he is. But on the basis of that video, I don't know how much money was sunk into it, but it was a top notch um, rap video. And the words were fantastic. And you want to know what I really got out of it? I felt like I was watching the 2023 version of the Bernstein uh, children's concerts where he was explaining things and, and how, how to get to this level, how to dedicate yourself to one purpose, which in this case is music making on the streets. That reaches a lot of people, um, that, that job of, of playing, performing on the streets for your living uh, reaches a lot of people. But the video was such a work of art. I mean, I, I must have watched that thing 10 times in a row, just getting everything I could get out of it. It was really, really a marvelous thing. And I, again, it was an educational effort. On the basis of that one video and the guy's ability, I, I gave him a perfect score. He, he, he could be a real presence in the community. And um, I stand by that score. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Uh, Raja? This is Raja. Very thought provoking, Jay. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, Jay's really opened my mind to some thoughts. Um, my inclination at this point is to raise my score a little bit, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna step back a little bit and give it to Marlies. I need some time to think. I did uh, review the the video that he's talking about again. Um, so I'm going to step back a little bit and think a bit more and come back on to comment, if I may. Oh, okay, no problem. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Yeah, this is Marlies. Uh, yeah, how about a couple minutes and I can review um, this video that specifically that what they were mentioning. Sorry. This is yeah. Kristen. That is absolutely acceptable. We can keep taking a little, couple minute um, break real quick so that everyone can review what they would like to.
And this is Demetrius. It looks like we're pretty much ready. Um, shall we start with Marlies? Sure, this is Marlies. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I do remember being very impressed and I'm surprised by my score as I reflect and look back on the video. Um, a lot of, of Jay's points helped me realize a few certain things, but I also just remember that street performing is super unique and super, it's, I, he, this, this artist is, is, is doing a very good job, uh, I think, with, with it and that video that we just watched. Um, you know, I listen more intently to the lyrics and yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to, to raise my score a little bit. This is Demetrius. Thanks, Marlies. Raja? This is Raja regarding uh, 0006. Um, yes, took a, another look at the video. Um, there are lots of very, very impressive elements. Uh, so thank you, Jay, for um, opening the conversation. Uh, likewise, I will be also raising my score as well. In fact, fairly significantly. Thanks. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Any other comments? This is Jay. Uh, ironic thing here. Um, you know, I looked at my notes. Um, I remember the video very well. And then I had to consider also the actual street performance and things like that. It, be, it came down to uh, his intention in, in uh, category one. Um, what what is it going to be? Is it going to be making videos or is it going to continue to work on the streets? Is it going to be a hybrid of all those things? Um, I'm going to keep my score and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that you know, everyone else could hear something of what I heard too. Um, that said, I, I think, um, how should I put it? I just think that the, um, the street aspect's really important. I kind of wish he had gone that route and had been able to produce something at the level of the video on the street. But of course, that's you know, a foregone conclusion. Um, I'm going to keep my score, um, and I, I really hope this this gentleman will um, do something with it that really uh, reaches out and makes a lot of people happy. I'll quote from my notes watching him in the video and on the street. This was a, a quote that I got from a Hungarian philosopher named Nikos uh, Csikszent Mihai, which you don't have to worry about the spelling. But he wrote, um, I was referring to rap and, and what you have to do to achieve the best kind of rap and, and what my quote said, it is a state in which people are so involved in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. And that's the sense I got from this artist. So I keep my score at 30. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Any other discussions before we go to final score? Okay, Krista. This is Krista. We're looking at final round two scores for application AFG 24-0006. Uh, Jay, if we can start with you, please. Uh, Jay Stevely, uh, I retain my score at 30. Thank you. Raja, please. Raja Rahman, regarding applicant 0006, I raise my score to 23. Thank you. And Marlise, please. Uh, this is Marlise, um, and I raise my score to 27. Final round two scores for application AFG 24-0006 are Marlies 27, Russia 23, and J30 for an average score of 26.7. This is Demetrius. I want to um, just say I've really enjoyed listening to the discussions um, and the perspectives has been very cool. Uh, at this point, uh, Krista, do we, it says something about the final ranking. Is this um, where we're at? 
Yeah, so I'm going to, this is Chris, I'm going to resort this real quick uh, and get our new final ranking. And then we kind of just take a peek at this and um, determine if everyone is good with the scores where they're at. I don't know, Sapir, Stefan, do you want to jump in? And Demetrius, I don't have the script in front of me, so I don't know what it says for you at this point. Yeah, hi, this is Stefan for the record. Um, so we are going to allow you to review the ranking of round two here. Um, and we'll come we'll come through and ask each one of you if you were um, okay with this ranking. Uh, and if so, then we will move on to the final kind of this, um, the final scoring, and then uh, we'll go from there. If not, if you are, if you see something within this ranking um, that you still would like to discuss, we can we can move on to a round three and discuss those applications. This is Apira. I would like to add that we have a tie in uh, number four and five. Um, ultimately, I I think the most we we may be able to award is three. Um, but I would just still like to point that out, that we do have a tie in um, the fourth and fifth spot. OK, so this is Demetrius. So is this where we would ask each panelist to give their final opinion? Um, this is Krista. So basically, what we want at this point is um, each of you three panelists take a take a look at this and um if you are all confident in your scores and where they have landed here um demetrius will go through and ask you ask each of you individually or just you know one at a time are you are you confident you're in your score where you've landed um and and then if everyone's good then we will move towards adjournment and if there is further discussion um and we want to move into round three to discuss even deeper um, that can happen. Stefan? Yeah, um, Stefan, for the record, um, we are, like Sapir alluded to, we are, we're going to have to discuss application 82 and 17 to, to, to break that tie. Um, so further discussion in those two applications uh, should happen. And then maybe once uh, we resolve that tie, uh, we can ask for final recommendations from the panelists and if they're okay with that ranking. This is Demetrius. Um, we will do that. Let's break the tie. So starting with, I'm sorry, is it 0017? 0017? 0082. Got you. So starting with 0082, um, I will ask Raja. Any change there for you, Raja? Any comment, discussion? This is Raja. Um, it's it's going to come down to the wire like this. Um, it's sort of to say I would need to do another review of both um, because this is a careful consideration. Um, so if you wouldn't mind if we could step away for four minutes and just do a quick review of both. That would help me. Uh, this is Mar this is Marlise. So I I agree. Absolutely. Let, um, this is Chris. Let's go ahead and take five and come back at um, two o'clock since nice even number. Two o'clock. Thank you.
This is Demetrius. We're waiting for Krista to come on. Okay, so we're going to continue our conversation. Um, we will start with Raja. This is Raja. After another review, I'm going to raise my score for applicant 17 from 24 to 25. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Raja. Marlies? Um, this is Marlies. I, hmm. I, I, I can I stand by my scores. Um, I, I do, I do feel like that year zero eight two overall has, a, a, like just, just having a unique. I just feel like I I leave, I leave that score higher than than the than seventeen just for 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 reasons that I think that the, the artistic quality and this uniqueness um and innovativeness of the of, of what's happening there is, is overall great. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Mm -hmm. Jay. Jay Steadley. Uh, on 0017, I'm leaving my score at 27. Uh, I think she's a remarkable remarkable vocal presence, and I appreciate it. And I, I think she uh, is going to do wonderful things in her state. Um, are we moving on to 82? Are we comparing the two together? Because I see that the, the, the tie is broken, essentially. Um, but are we in the point of changing scores for 82? If, if Needed. This, this is Krista. Yeah, we um, between the two of them, we are we just need to make a differentiation between those two. So if you want to change your score to um, move the one up that you prefer or down, then that would happen right now. And we'll just change them while we're in discussion. Understood. Thank you. Um, my score will stay the same on both of them. Um, this is Demetrius. Krista, do we go to final score? Um, we'll just update these ones in discussion. It sounded like, Jay, you confirmed that you don't want to change either. Um, Marlise, it sounded like you don't want to change either as well. Correct. And Raja, you changed one of them. So that breaks the tie. Um, so as everyone else has confirmed that they don't want to change anything, then we will uh, adjust where we are. And that is the new order. Yeah, this is Akira. Thank you, everyone. Um, so at this point, uh, I think we are going to ask the panelists if the the score that we have now um, is you're comfortable with this as the final ranking, or if you would like to discuss further and move perhaps the top three into round three. That's a perhaps top three. We can discuss that as a team as well. Okay, this is Demetrius. We will start by asking Marlies. Uh, yes, I am. I am. This is Marlies. Yes, I am comfortable with the current lineup. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Marlies. Jay. This is Jay. Um, I'm comfortable with the score across the board. Um, my only comment for myself would be that, uh, you know, obviously when you score that high and that generously, you have reasons for that. Um, my reasons still stand with um, the overall excellence of all the artists and these ones in particular. And so my scores are always stay the same. This is Demetrius. Thank you, Jay. Raja? This is Raja. I am comfortable with uh, scoring as I see it right now. Thanks. 
Uh, this is Demetrius. Um, Krista, do we do a final score here? Or this, are we pretty much set? We, this is Krista, we are set. I will just read through uh, the all of the final scores just so that they're on verbal record um, since folks can't see the screen that we're looking at. And, uh, and then we can move forward to the next agenda item. So this is Krista and we are going to uh, go over the final scores for each of the applications, starting with AFG 24-0032 with an average final score of 28.7, AFG 24-0006 with a final average score of 26.7, AFG 24-0027 with a final average score of 26.3. AFG 24-0017 with a final average score of 25.3. Uh, AFG 24-0082 with a final average score of 25.0. AFG 24-0086 with a final average score of 24.3. AFG 24-0066 with a final average score of 23.7. AFG 24-0089 with a final average score of 23.3. And finally, AFG 24-0054 with a final average score of 23.3. This is Demetrius, and I believe we're ready to move on to number 15. And uh, the Nevada Arts Council Board thanks the panelists and staff for your thoughtful work in reviewing the FY24 Artist Fellowship Grant in Performing Arts Music Category Applications. The Nevada Arts Council Board will meet during a public meeting to review the panel's recommendations and vote on the final grant allocations. After board approval, all applicants will receive written notification. So if all minds are clear, it moves us to agenda item D, public comment. Because of time considerations, the period for public comment by each speaker may be limited to three minutes at the discretion, discretion sorry, of the chair. The speakers are urged to avoid repetition of comments made by previous speakers. Applicants who are attending today do not have an unfair advantage over those who are not in attendance and the committee will not take public com comment regarding any grant applications under consideration. Now, is there anyone joining today's meeting who wishes to provide public comment at this time? And uh, was there any public comment received via email? This is Krista. We did not receive any public comment during email, and I do not see uh, any raised hands or anything popping up in the chat. This is Demetrius. Well, then we will move to agenda item E for possible action adjournment. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you everyone. Um, panelists, if you can just stay on for um, a little debrief, I'm gonna stop the recording.